This is the weather forecast video for Sunday, April the 29th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, some showers and thunderstorms over the Ohio Valley at that time with a separate disturbance, separate from the storms that are firing over the southern plains over the evening. Part of an active period coming up this week. Watch warning map. A little before midnight last night shows some frost and freeze advisories watches over the Michigan and to the northeast and some severe weather over the south and winter weather over the north. The QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 7 o'clock shows some decent amounts of rain over the southeastern half of the state. Amounts from about a quarter to the half an inch over the northwest to upwards of two inches over the south and east. So let's take a look at all this rain that could be coming with the Zero ZGFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, some energy moving across the Dakotas, a big feature over the eastern maritimes of Canada, and that's pulling away. Could see some late day showers and maybe an embedded thunderstorm over the southern counties. Otherwise, it'll remain uh, partly cloudy with increasing clouds late after a couple hours of clearing. And then we begin a week. Here's Monday of a couple of slight uh, scattered chances of showers and thunderstorms each day. On Monday, here's Tuesday, some more chances of rain and as temperature and temperatures will be rising during this time. By Tuesday, we'll see highs. Most of the state will be at least into the 70s by this point. Here's Wednesday, still some chances of some showers and thunderstorms. Severe weather, mm, there could be some. There is a outlook out, at least yesterday's outlook had some severe weather possible. Here into Thursday, still some chances of some showers and thunderstorms. So this is not going to be on all day rain. Most hours will remain dry, but there's still going to be a chance. By Friday, the system finally moves away. And Friday will be the driest day. And it'll still remain warm with readings in the 70s across the state. So it really doesn't cool down after the system. Saturday to start off the next week weekend, Moisture begins to build again in the plains, and when that happens, clouds will increase. And a week from today, here comes the peace energy going through the northern plains and upper Midwest again, with a ridge over the south that's going to keep a lot of the heat down there. It's going to get really hot down there. While over us, we have more showers and thunderstorms, and there's this looks more like a possible severe weather threat here by next Sunday, so we'll have to watch that. We'll get a little more pinpoint in coming days. A couple days later on the 10th of May, big trough over the east. Uh, pretty zonal over the west, no real huge ridge at this point. And we have a storm system over the east pulling away. It will get cooler at least if this looks right for a while and then warm back up again possibly dropping into the 60s and then back up to the 70s to near 80. At the end of the forecast May 14th uh, pretty zonal. A little bit of disturbance to our east and with that we'll likely see some showers and thunderstorms along a cold front extending from the Great Lakes southward into the Gulf Coast. But really, temperatures don't cool off again, so it looks like we're going to have some late spring weather here to stay. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Monday.